Hello and welcome to Use the Science. Today we're going to be making traditional bars of soap. My name is Alec and this is my assistant Henry. Henry. To make the soap we're going to be using olive oil, coconut oil and shea butter as the main ingredient. We're going to be using the cold soap method. So as well as the oils, you also need sodium hydroxide which is a key part of the soap as lye. Before we start making the soap, let's have a look at the science behind it. The, the chemical process which is behind soap making is called saponification. In simple terms, saponification is a chemical reaction between a an acid, which is our oils, a base, which is the lye, to form a salt, which is our soap. There are lots of different sorts of acids you, you can use to saponify. For example, you can use oils, like coconut oil and palm oil, or you can use animal fats. However, if you're using different oils to the ones we're using, you'll have to check on the internet for the table of oils to base because each oil has a difficult, different chemical makeup. So you have to then add a different amount of base or lye. As we mix the ingredients together, you get three reactions happening. The re reaction one is the oils separate into fatty, a fatty acids and glycerol. The second reaction is the glycerol turns into glycerin, which is good for the skin. And the third reaction is the lye reacts with the fatty acid to create soap. Sodium hydroxide or lye can be very dangerous, so we're going to be wearing safety gloves and safety goggles. And my mum will also be helping us. It is essential that you have an adult with you to help with the lye and the rest of the process, but you also need some containers. This is a stainless steel saucepan. You need that as well as a measuring jug, mold, some moulds, a silicone spoon for stirring, and scales capable of measuring to the nearest gram. I've now put some safety goggles and gloves on, as is my assistant, and now we're going to start measuring the oils. We need 200 grams of coconut butter, 200 grams of olive oil and 50 grams of shea butter. Now we've got a lawnmower going on our neighbours so I'm just going to have to speak louder. So we've done, the, we've mixed all the oils together with exact amounts. It's very vital that you do the exact amounts otherwise because the soap relies on the mixture between the lye and the, um, the oils because if they're not exact then the soap won't work. In a minute my mum is going to melt the oils on the hob but before that, we're going to be mixing the 69 grams of sodium hydroxide with 168 grams of frozen coconut cream. We've now made the lye solution, and it's hot. The reason for that is because if you mix sodium hydroxide with any liquid, then it becomes, it creates heat and fumes. Um, you, that's why you've got to mix it in a well-ventilated area, or your adult does at least. We've now begun melting the oils, so, so when my mum put them on the hob, she stirred them for about for a tiny amount, and then now I'm stirring them. When they're all blended and mixed well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them down um, onto a surface to cool a little bit, make sure they're not too cool. I'm now going to combine the lye and the oils. It's very important you put the, the lye into the oils, otherwise it could be extremely dangerous. My mum's going to mix the mixture a bit and then my brother's going to put the lime fragrance oil and coconut fragrance oil, six grams of each, into the mixture. My mum is then going to mix it with a handheld blender. The lye being mixed with the oils. You see it got to the light trace when you drop, it stays a little bit, so that's when it's ready. My mum putting the lye and oils mixture into the bolt. Afterwards we're then going to cover it with a lid and then leave it in the fridge for at least 24 hours and then take it out and leave but then once it's out of the fridge you've still got to leave it for at least six weeks before it's ready to be used. It would make an amazing gift though. 
Now we're covering it with a lid and now we're going to take it to the fridge. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a try and please share your results. Hope to see you again at the next Use the Science video. Bye! Bye.